Hey there, boys and girls. This is a good old gamer, and we're playing more Mass Effect 2. Yay! Finally got done with the Project Firewalker side mission DLC content. Hope you guys enjoyed that, or whatever it was. It was a nice little diversion. So, uh, we've got quite a few main quests to get on with. So, I believe I said we were going to go after uh, the Assassin. And both the Assassin and the Justicar are on Ilium, so that is going to be our next destination. Now, Ilium, as you'll come to find out eventually, once we get there here in a minute, um, is a happening kind of planet. There's a uh, Quite a big city going on, and uh, lots of people to talk to and little side quests to uh, do even before we get to the main missions. And there are three main missions on Ilium. There's getting the assassin, getting the Justicar, and uh, Miranda's loyalty quest takes place there too, so... Yeah, this set of videos will probably just be exploring Ilium. Um, checking out the stores, checking out the local people, uh, with their side quests, and I don't know if we'll actually get to any of the main missions in this set of videos. It might take a while, but, uh, if we don't, then in the next set we'll get to the Assassin. But anyway, let's get to Ilium. I've actually been, uh, anxious to get to Ilium, because there are quite a few stores. So we can uh, start spending all of that money that we've been earning uh, for more upgrades, both in terms of regular upgrades we can res uh, we can use for like uh, armor protection and stuff, and for the armor upgrades, give different bonuses and looks to our armor. I know it's been a while since I've messed with the look of the armor, so. And I can't remember if it's Ilium or if it's going to be Tuchanka. There's a store in Tuchanka, and I don't remember if the stores here or there have the armor upgrades, but... If it's not Ilium, it'll be Tuchanka later. Uh, let's see, who do we want to go with? We'll go with Miranda, since she's got her personal side quest here eventually. And... Who else? Uh, we haven't had Jack on our team for <laughs> quite a while, so we'll put her on, I guess. That's quite the pair. <laughs> Miranda and Jack, they hate each other. <laughs> uh, but whatever. We don't have much to level up, but they should. Okay, Miranda has six points. Uh, overload seems fairly effective. So, yeah, we'll go with that. She's got three more points. I'm going to wait until the next level to max out her overload, bo overload before we either start putting more points into warp or slam if we get her side quest done before then. Or we get to level her up again. Uh, Jack, you have eight points. You're gonna get maximum shockwave. Uh, shockwave power strengthens to become a biotic freight train, swatting aside everything in a long path. Shockwave now has a wide impact radius, taking out everything in a broad strip in front of you. Charge 12 seconds, number of shockwaves 12, impact radius 3.5 miles or meters, impact force 500 newtons, 700 newtons, 2.5 meters. Eh, improved shockwave seems better. If you can catch more enemies at once, so much the better. Pull! Jacob already has pull, but, uh, you're supposed to be biotic specialist, so you can have one point in pull for sure. Okie dokie.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Sorry about the lag. I don't know. It's going to take my computer a little bit to uh, adjust to Fraps recording, I guess. Hopefully it clears up. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on the Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Done now, people. Okay. So yeah, this is Ilium. Pretty place. Lots going on. Um, this set of videos, like I said, basically going to be exploring Ilium, not really getting into any of the missions. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting-edge indentured service. Um, indentured unless the exploration takes less time than I believe it will. But uh, yeah, we're basically going to do some shopping, just explore. We've had quite a few sets of missions, uh, sets of videos with missions now, so it's time for some exploring. What do you have to say, Miranda? You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. That's great. No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It... Pardon me, I'm on a call. Um, she has an item we can give her later. One of the, one of the main missions, it's an incidental item you pick up. If you're good at exploring, if you don't miss it. You can also miss it pretty easy, too. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on, give me something. The Tyrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shashi. The Tyrian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Tyrian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. Salvage operations on the Salahil system have been cleared. Operations had previously been halted after Geth activity in the area. 
The prison ship in Purgatory has been destroyed following an apparent riot. Security ships are en route to the area to retrieve prisoners and guards from life pods. Serta Foundation is likely to close by the end of this fiscal year. The Foundation never recovered from a deadly attack by biotic extremists on one of its medical centers two years ago.